That's wait. that's the ideal position to be in when like you're just so fucking irrelevant. It doesn't matter what you say. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. Nobody's scrutinizing it anymore because they're like, yeah, look at him. Yeah, yeah, His yeah. dick doesn't work. Who cares? He just that's... wants to sit on a porch and spit at people. Yeah, mm-hmm. whittle. Wear mm-hmm. flannel tucked into sweatpants. Mm-hmm. Your wife's socks. Whittling? How about diddling? You know, I got a little right. tiny, a, a three and a half inch boy that I molest. <laughs> <laughs> a little, is that what so Geppetto was doing? Science has created a way to have just a, a man that doesn't grow taller than uh-huh. nine and a half inches, mm-hmm. and I hold him in my lap and I just molest his little penis. <laughs> <laughs> I just suck on his little penis. Tiny on little. They're like, oh, there's old man Mullen diddling on that por- <laughs> on his porch again. Help it's me. Beautiful summer afternoon, Can boys. Can I stop sucking my dick? <laughs> please, please save me from this man. He's a monster. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but he spent the money to have a tiny man to molest. <laughs> he just wants to sit there and diddle. Damn. That would suck to be that little guy getting molested. Well, and that's, that's the, the ethical question of the day. Mm. Is it wrong to use science... <laughs> To create a mm-hmm. tiny little man that you molest <laughs> on your porch. All I day think long. <laughs> this asshole, you li- this little tiny asshole, you shove you fuck with your pancakes in. Oh, yeah. toothpicks. Yeah, well, you, you suck on his tiny little there. fucking th- three and a half millimeter dick. <laughs> <laughs> you just lick on it. It's his whole, your tongue just enveloping the entire middle part of his body. Mm. You just you can put both of his feet and legs in your mouth and mm. suck his Ooh. body off. <laughs> and you can kind of feel yeah, yeah. his dick on the roof of your yeah, mouth. Yeah, just getting hard. <laughs> yeah. Just flossing your teeth with his little Ooh. dick. I'm back in He's now. Like, stop this. I do not. Stop it right now. <laughs> Please, somebody help me. So you're you're saying it's an ethical conundrum? Yes. Now, so I think that I think that maybe I, I at a really I want to do a TEDx talk. Where we get, really get to the bottom of whether or not I'm allowed to make a tiny little <laughs> ten ten inch man who I molest on my porch. I bet you he could fuck you up though, because if he got his hands in your eyes and like pulled it out, he wouldn't be able to do that. Why not? Is he too, is he weak? Also, they should be able to hurt you in some way. Other way, it's not molestation. Uh, I think what is that I, so <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah, babies can't hurt you. Is it, are you, does that if they can't fight back in any capacity, it's not a challenge. <laughs> so what is it? it's not I think that you got to, yeah, you got to live in fear that you can't fall asleep because the little man might crawl up your ear or your nostril mm. and then try to stab you in the brain. Yeah, and thus end end your life. Yeah, so you keep him a little little man fuck cage. So yeah. it's it's pretty much equal fight. You know, like that because so, honestly, you know, it's funny if Netflix were having a meeting about what's appropriate and inappropriate, and there was a guy there mm-hmm. that's like, you know. He's got a 10, 10 inch man and he's mm. sucking his penis or whatever. <laughs> and he's like, go on, I'm listening. Mm. <laughs> they, yeah. they wouldn't know what to do with that. Guy. Right. That's true. Would, they wouldn't fire him immediately because, first of all, they would say, where did he get this? Mm-hmm. Tiny the science boy? is interesting. Yeah. How did you get a man that small? <laughs> Number one. I don't like, listen, I do not like what you're doing with him, <laughs> but I need it's to rude. know where you got him. It's incredibly yeah. rude. <laughs> Let me be on the record. Mm. I don't like what's going on. How much mm. of his fucking it's body meanwhile. you have in your mouth? Josh Brolin is scared. The actor is riding high, starring in blockbusters. Is that a problem? No, it isn't. No interest in reading the rest of that. That is a failure of journalism. Hmm. What kind of article? What kind of lead is this? Shouts out to Nick's best friend, Josh Brolin. Yeah, who did compliment me, by the way. A highlight of my career. Yeah. Yeah, he was like, Three years ago. Hey, you got a really beautiful body. (laughs) He said that? I don't remember him saying that. He said, I just want to put you in a little cage. (laughs) I want to shrink it down to 10 I inches. Re- I just remember you... Okay, why don't you come over to Hollywood? We got this device that can <laughs> shrink people down to 10 inches. Just get in the machine. It's how we can... We got to take you to this island where you can do auditions, but we can't have you on the flight log because, you know, this is a big opportunity. We don't want people finding out who the next star is going to be before it's time. So we have to shrink you down to 10 inches, and then we'll put you in a little... Just a little, you know, dop kit. Whoa. And we'll sneak oh. you to the island. And is that then, what happened? And then we'll bring you back to normal mm-hmm. size. Oh, okay. Wait. And then that's where you can meet David Geffen, <laughs> Brian Singer, Garth Anseer, David Newman. Uh-huh. And, and, and Rick Moran is the inventor the, of the shrinking machine. The rest of the men we call right. star yeah. makers. Star, the star makers. Yes, and Rick Moran is inventor of the shrinking machine. <laughs> yeah, people Thank said you. he quit Hollywood to raise his family nope. after yeah, his wife nope. died. No. Nope. He was fucking children. He got right. way too into <laughs> shrinking yeah. the kids, yeah. dude. Yeah, Rick Moran's his wife died of cancer. It's like, huh, maybe you shouldn't have been doing weird 
weird experiments yeah. in the attic yeah. with radioactivity. Yeah. Yeah. Strange. Yeah. With your children. Now, possibly uh, the issue was shrinking and unshrinking mm-hmm. your wife well, repeatedly. The way Rick he, Moranis. The way he discovered it. <laughs> is the guy, is he was trying the asshole who thinks movies are real. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he just, yeah uh, I guess Patton Oswalt's wife died. Maybe you shouldn't have put your rat penis <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, maybe she yeah, would have been toxic fine. shock syndrome if you from weren't a rat crawling in her pussy, living under her hat and tugging on her hair to control which direction she walked around, just so you could make a nice dinner for a weird French guy. That's so <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, maybe uh, mm. maybe that would have prevented mm. it. <laughs> I like the idea of Rick Moranis trying to do the shrink ray because he was just trying to shrink his wife's pussy a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> just so, so his yeah. dick felt a little bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Honey, I finally made the kids a, a size that it won't destroy your vagina. <laughs> oh, God. When they go back into it. You don't know what a femme fatale is? <laughs> that is what yes, a femme fatale is. No, it's yeah. not. Yeah, huh, that's no, that are. is the traditional a femme French. Fa- a femme, femme fatale, fatale is yeah. a woman that goes into a private detective's office and blows cigarette smoke that's in his true. face and says... You know, I want you to fuck me as if you were my husband on yeah. camera. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, I didn't know why, but I did it anyways. And then his boss comes in, they're like, what are these pictures of you fucking a 14-year-old? And he's like, I thought she was 17. <laughs> and he's like drinking down at the docks. I knew there was something different about this yeah. name. <laughs> she walked into my office like a 10-inch tall man who could just <laughs> suck off all day long on your, <laughs> on your porch. I've never seen a I think my that. husband's cheating on me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, miss. We'll get to the bottom of this. I watched LA Confidential. Uh, if you last excuse night. me. As soon as she left, I pulled that tiny man right out of my desk. <laughs> <laughs> it's a horrible detective. She was talking. I, I needed a break yeah, to go yeah. suck off that little man's dick. If I listen to this broad for one more <laughs> second, I was going to put my revolver in my mouth and pull the trigger. <laughs> excuse me for a second, Toots. I got some business to attend to. <laughs> Please, senor, do not suck me <laughs> off again. What's his name? Shut up, Diego. <laughs> Diego, the little man. Diego's the little man. Yeah. <laughs> he sucked my. It body. is so hard in the drawer, but <laughs> it, it is worse to be sucked off <laughs> in this Los Angeles heat. <laughs> <laughs> to be stored next to your Rolodex and your tinctures. <laughs> Why do you have so many tinctures? Wait, wait, in uh, <laughs> I put them behind the roll of tinctures. Dick, tinctures. I picked up the dictaphone and explained to my assistant. Uh, I'm not gonna be taking any calls for the next ten minutes. So I gotta figure something out. <laughs> Just him down by the aqueduct, <laughs> writing down when the water comes out. <laughs> it's like, of course, they're stealing it from the valley. <laughs> <laughs> Please, senor, stop something. <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking <laughs> this is right how now. I think. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. Elementary, Watson. <laughs> Every great detective oh, yes. sucked <laughs> off a little man. <laughs> Three, that's their chair. That's their fucking Instead secret, of pipes, dude. they just have a 10 yeah. inch man that they suck. <laughs> they just suck his little dick. <laughs> just put his little legs in their mouth. <laughs> Please stop, sir. Yeah. Mm, just licking his whole face, his whole head. His head's just covered in saliva. Come here, you little sexy bastard. <laughs> Put a little sexy body in my mouth. <laughs> like, what even sexual gratification would you get out of sucking Just off? Just a little candle, oh, man. Yeah. It's all about the it's power, a, man. A, it's the like power. Like putting a candle made out of flesh in your mouth. <laughs> Ten inches is a... Yeah, I guess that's a candle. Yeah. That's pretty big, actually. He never, yeah, I guess... Man. Yeah. I guess... You're sucking and licking on him like ice cream. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Matthews. Could you please stop sucking on that tiny man? While I'm sorry, describing Mr. My case. Listen, Toots. Either we can do things my way or we do them the highway. What's the highway? It's 1932. It's a thing that's going to be invented by the bad guy from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. You know what would be fun is they do the Oscars, but instead of that little statue... <laughs> <laughs> you get a live <laughs> tiny mm-hmm. gold man that yeah, you can suck good. off. I yeah, like but that. he's alive. Yeah. I want to thank all of the women who have put up with so much in this industry so that we could have this moment together. <laughs> <laughs> please, <laughs> Francis McDormand, do not suck me off. <laughs> please, please, Francesca, do not suck me off. 
<laughs> he's a little little gold man that gets sucked off. Okay, here yeah. You go. Her her Oscar speech last year sucked. It, 